welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And I wish all my Marines, brothers and sisters, a happy birthday, the 247th birthday of the Marine Corps. You know, the Marine Corps uh, actually was established one year before the country. Uh, pretty wild, 1775. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. They're trying to change them to fit what you want. It's like trying to change a dog into a cat, a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 1,099, NASDAQ up 666, S&P's up 185, gold contract up $42.90, trading at 1756 an ounce. We had silver up 41 cents, $21.74 an ounce, platinum up 60 bucks, 1057 an ounce, light sweet crude uh, up 54 cents, $86.37 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up two points plus five ticks at 112.15. The 30 year up a full four points plus 13 ticks at 124.04. And King Dollar. King Dollar. Yeah, toasted. Toasted, roasted. Get the peanut butter, get the jelly, get it all out, man. Down 2,371 ticks at 108,176. The euro is at 101. The yen is at 141.79. And the British pound is at 116 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got an ABC structure up. You're blowing away the B point out here. You get volume behind the move. We need... I, I, now, here, well, I want to show you something here, folks. Okay, so when you're doing these ABCs, when you have something that's this close, like the first price point of 389, see that 100 million? And then we went above it with 85. When it's that close, you, gotta, you wanna take the 100 million to be conservative. We're gonna have 100 million, we're at 94 million right now. So when you, when you look at this baby, you got a very large ABC that says set up here. You're blowing away the B point. And what you wanna remember, is that ABCs, the A to B leg and the C to D leg, they're normally straight line moves. And this straight line move, the thing that's cool about this is that the straight line move does bring you right to that 411.73, which is the swing point that was established out there on the 12th of September. So I suspect that's where we're going. You know, you can see that this move today is extraordinary. There's no doubt about it. If you were in front of a machine, folks, uh, when the CPI came out, it was, it was pretty amazing. And, you know, the bottom line, is that the CPI came in light, but not not as light as you know this market is looking at. I mean, the, the, the bottom line is that this is this is quite a move. There's no two ways about it, and we've got to go right to the dollar because it's all about the dollar. That's that's the dollar runs the market, and what you have out here is that you know you you have a break with conviction, and you know what conviction is is you get my definition of conviction is wide price spread with volume. Now, we don't have volume on the dollar. So the bottom line is just, you know, wide price spread. We certainly have wide price spread. Now, what this has done, which is really cool, if you happen to be in the metal market or you think that this market can go higher, is that this break is decisive. This break is not only getting you in the lower range. See, once we went below 109.293, which we're, you know, 1,700 ticks below it, that sets up you know, the first level that we were talking about, the 104. But this move today actually sets up right down to 101.414. That's how it's set up. And inside the, the yen, the yen has quite a, quite a move out here today. Uh, what, you have with, what you have with the yen, you know, the bottom line, you can see this breakdown. The breakdown is pretty dramatic. And, and the yen, let's do this. Let take a look at this. I think the yen has only broke the trend from... Yeah. So the yen, the yen looks to me, you got 130 on target now. Let me do this. Put this on a weekly for a second. See, the yen, the yen was parabolic, man. Well, it's not, it's not broken yet, really. Yeah, so you can see, this is very close. If we get, if we get a move tomorrow, okay, like just somewhat like this on the yen, that's saying the yen's going to go all the way back to 114. And that would be intense, man. Yeah, but guess what? 
You, ex you, went, you went explosive like that on the on our top side. That's exactly what we did. I mean, when you, know, you, you talk about going uh, top side with volume, I mean, uh, well, not with volume, but with conviction. Well, it, it did it in spades. There's no there's no doubt about that. So, you know, what does happen is that you can come down just as quick, um, you know, on the other side in a monster way. So, right now, you have markets that want higher price. What you had out here this morning when this happened is that you went up 100 S&P points. What's happening right now, and this is where you're going to see this charge, you know, coming right into the close, is that there were a lot of people that were caught, okay? And I suspect, you know, we're talking about, you know, not retail traders. I'm talking about professionals that were caught and they were caught good. So what you have all day long, they were hoping that you'd get a, you know, contraction, an expansion, but a contraction, you know, just a pullback, even a point three or two contraction, and you did not get one. <clears throat> so what you're going to see coming into the close, which we're seeing right now, is that if they have any discipline at all, you do not want to be long, I mean, shot overnight. You just, I mean, because what you have out here is that you have the banks close tomorrow, you have the bond market close tomorrow, and what ends up happening is that when that does happen, you can push the market in extreme ways. And it would seem that when you get a day like today, it's like, okay, you can't have two days like that. Well, guess what? You can have a lot more than two days like this. Um, if we go into the gold market and we take a look at the gold market, you can see the bottom line is that you finally have movement in the gold market and the acceleration is intense and there's, there's volume everywhere. There's volume everywhere. You know, look at this. You're doing 277,000 contracts out here today. That's laying up. You know, you, you, already, you just blew away the swing point of uh, 1738 with volume, 20 bucks over that. The next step up here is the 1824 before you know it. And this is how gold moves. If you've been in that market, you know how it moves. You know, they talk about being in the, you know, Dow Industrials or something if you miss a move. You know, I don't really go along with that. But if you're not in the gold market and it moves, yeah, it's gone. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.